be an alternative to how you get these fucking oh. Oh. oh my god. Oh my god. Say who you is. You know. <laughs> it's really bad at me. Say who you got here. My name is Jojo. I'm Shannon. I'm Matthew. They call me Leprechaun. Get down. All right. Woo. Shannon. Shannon. All right. Most people call me Bubbles. Hey, and who you cool. is? I'll be, I'll be back. I'm Casey. Nice to meet hey, you. Casey, I'm Jesse. What up, dog? Keep How are you? Right here. Yeah, I got oh, yeah, you want to see my ass? Oh, yeah. I got some green. Hey, man, let's go back. Get back in this place. Oh, back. girls, you know how wild is this shit right here? Hold up. I don't have no titties, but I got nipples. Oh, nah, it's all about oh. a nipple, girl. You know how to make a pound of fat look pretty? You ah! put a nipple on. Honey, more than a nipple, too much. On. Right? Oh. It's all about the I'm nipple, I'm so girl. fucked up. Hey, me too. Check this shit. Hi, baby. What's up? I've got baby nipples. I got baby nipples, I got baby nipples too. Nipples? Want to touch I have nipples? a four-year-old, yeah, and I, I've got like a little Let's bit of strip. Let's touch nipples. Show the other one. We'll touch nipples. All right, touch it. Listen up, viewers. Todd Bosley here to tell you how I made $86,000 in one week alone placing tiny little ads. But right now you're watching Austin Comedy on Walking Eye TV. Apparently it's frowned upon to decorate your nuts up like Easter eggs and then sit quietly in the bushes. And I, I had this one dipped in the Barbie dip and this one in the Pokemon. I was like... And all of a sudden, the priest came out of nowhere. He's like, I got you. <laughs> and he got me, so I'm Christian now. <laughs> what I get for having a 12-year-old butt on a 28-year-old body, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but <laughs> I, get arrest, I got arrested, uh, you know, over 4th of July. I felt like, you know, celebrate my independence, you know what I mean? And the indecent exposure, you know, I'll give them that. You know, balloon the obsidious axe with a pigeon. I was like, hold on, man. You know what I mean? I was just trying to hold the bastard down while I took a shit on him. You know what I mean? Just getting the justice. I was like, now with a man sized turd on your feet, can't you call now, can you? Huh, pigeon bastard? Lazy birds, too. You don't see them in the wild. You know what I mean? Because if they make that noise, that means come here. You know what I mean? And I'm killing you, little fucking bastard. <sighs> Hate pigeons. Got arrested three times for DWI. Yeah. And uh, that's fucked up, because if they don't want you drinking and driving, why do they have parking lots of bars, you know? They've got more parking in the rear. I see bars with like eight handicapped parking in the front, which tells me to want fucked up people to go inside, get more fucked up, and then go drive all fucked up, you know? They don't want me drinking and driving at the bar. Why don't they have a place where I can maybe hang my skates, park my bike, or tie up my pony? That's all I'm saying. But, you know, when they pull you over, it's like, do they, you know, have some random thing that they decide they're going to say every month? Because last time they pulled me over, he's like, do you have any idea why I pulled you over? I was like, matter of fact, I do, sir. I've already written myself a ticket. If you'll just sign here, I'll be on my way. <laughs> yeah. While you're at it, sign four more, because I just might fuck up some more this week. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Over the courthouse is, fuck yeah, man. They'll cash a two-party check for me there. You know why? Because I'm oh, Joe yeah. Spotlight, man. Hey. One more thing before I go, man. Check this out. They say 61% of the population of children these days <laughs> is overweight. Call it a problem? Not me. Call it evolution. Kids are getting fatter as a natural defense against child predators. Because there ain't no such thing as a fat missing kid. Straight up. If you don't, I mean, at first you think they'd be the first ones to go, right? Because they're so much easier to catch. They fuck no, man. They take up more trunk space. You got to use more rope to tie them up, people. It's harder to hide a fat kid. If you got to dig a hole, you got to dig a bigger one. That's hard on your back. You know what I'm saying? The bottom line, it's just too damn hard to find a cute dress to fit a fat kid. You know? Hey, and I'm not really bagging on the kids. I'm really pissed off at the mothers because I wouldn't even know about these kids if it weren't for the moms. So what if your kid weighs 500 pounds? At least you know where he's at. You know what I mean? So what if he spends 23 out of 24 hours in a day eating ho-hos and ding-dongs playing Nintendo on your couch? At least he's not missing. Right? So, yeah, no, seriously. So my message is feed your kids, man. Feed them well. Let them get real fat, man. Real fat and gnarly, man, so no one will want to take them away. Ever. You know? They'll be sitting in your basement at 35 yelling up, Hey, Mom, are there any more Hot Pockets? Thanks a lot, guys. Let me go, fam. Your next comment coming to the stage is Mr. Kerry Schwartz. Come on, it's the one and only Kerry Schwartz. Oh, you're a lucky audience. You guys are in for a treat. Because I'm a fucking badass. 
That's right. The other day, I went to buy a newspaper. I put my two quarters in the slot. Pulled out two papers. I only read one of them. Because I'm a fucking badass. I was at the swimming pool at my apartment complex. Big sign. Swim at your own risk. I jump right in that bitch. Because I'm a fucking badass. There's another sign in the shallow end. No diving. I don't care. <laughs> I geared up. I did my best dive. Cause I'm a fucking badass. And I got a bump on my head. <laughs> um, some signs you should read. He's coming, he had to find his camera. Somebody's got his camera. That didn't work over too well, dude. Cause I'm a badass, that was kind of like, they were like, yeah, whatever, you look gay. <laughs> they were like, you're not bad, dude, you look gay. <laughs> That's why, nah, dude, it, it, it could work, I guess. It'd be, it'd be tougher. All right, let's go talk to this girl. All right, man. Ladies all in the size spot, where to go? I'm getting my nose pierced. What do you mean? Nose pierced? Like two pockets? Huh? No, like at all. Diamond, like hers. Oh, that's cute. That's What's cute. up with that? What do you think? I mean, yeah. getting my nose pierced. Yeah. It's not girls' grandma. We're all together. I don't know. We're making a comedy show. Hey, he's cuckoo for cocoa pops. Don't listen to him. He's gay. Huh? We're making a comedy show. I'm about to pee my pants because I'm so scared I'm about to get my nose pierced. Are you a badass? I'm pretty much a badass. They heard that shit. You believe it? Yeah. Anybody who has a cocoa puff shirt. Yeah, of course. What? Of course. When did you get your nose pierced? Last night. Last night? Yeah. How much did that cost you? It's not even swollen. Why? It doesn't feel like I'm 65, though, because I had to get the nose pierced. Oh, Oh, it's not. Yeah. And I didn't get the nose pierced. And then my friend got her nose pierced, and they lost it, and they had the big white nose. No. They just, they just twisted in. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know why. Yeah, after I swallowed two balls, but it hurt so bad after. She swallowed two balls. After balls. It wasn't two actual balls. It was two balls. I got my tongue pierced and they came out two balls. Yeah, they came out two balls. And I swallowed them when I was eating. Well, make up a story about swallowing two balls. It happened. Yeah, 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 it and the chick was like, the chick was like, fucking, you know, hey, wanna go party? You know, I was like, well, I just got out of jail, man. I don't really know where the party is, you know what I mean? So I was like, fuck it, dude. So she bought me a beer, dude, and I brought it back to the place, dude. Before I knew it, dude, I was up to here, dude. I had my fucking fist in her, dude, and she's sucking my buddy's dick, you know what I mean? Fucking all the way up to here, dude. And man, the bitch came so much. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> That's Joe's generic bar. That's my favorite fucking bar. You ain't get no pussy out of Joe Snake Bar, I can't fuck with you. But you're gonna get some good music. Good music! No pussy, but good music. I love Joe Snake Bar. It's gonna be a cool ass show, man. Yeah, it is, dude. You're fucking totally right, dude. Yeah. Oh, man. Woo! It's known they will find this guy dead here one day. One day they will walk up and he will not move. I can't fucking tell you. Let's go. Tonight, guys. Come on in. I'm telling you, check it out. Let's go business, inside, guys. Come on in. Yeah! Alright, that's enough of that shit. Hey man, this ain't insomniacs. Hey, that's what we all need about two in the morning, man, is drugs and soda. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, right here. All right, we'll stop. Sorry about that. You're a pussy, by the way. Hey, be cool. Come on, girl. Let's go. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna spank me? Will you please spank me? <laughs> spanker, man, spanker. <laughs> My nickname is Cowboy Roy, Roy or Huckleberry Finn. Why are you poking holes all in your body? Huckleberry Finn? I just want to know. I'm not into it. You want to know? Because uh, if 
if you ever gotten pierced, you understand. Like it's, it's almost an adrenaline rush. Pierced, man. I've gotten my it's an adrenaline rush. Like, no, really not. Right, right no. before you got your ears pierced, you I said? Me and my tongue. And then uh, one, and then no, no, no. Those are shit. What's your eyebrow for? Do you grow a pussy and get your forehead in there and just bleh, on the clit, or what do you Nah, do? dude, I've fucking got nipples. I've gotten fucking What's eyebrow. I've got like for? all this shit. What's you know the best for? adrenaline rush? Cool. Cool. Get your ear pierced while you bungee jump, dude. Yeah, that should'll fuck you up. With the, yeah, yeah. With if a if that bitch can fucking like, get the needle through while you're bungee jumping, nah, that's the that problem. Right in the middle. No, no, you do it yourself. Get, get, get oh, your, right, don't even numb it. Getting your tongue pierced while you're bungee jumping with a fucking small chihuahua clamped on the end of your dick. Now that's excitement. That's no, that, that, that's pain. That's chihuahua clamped on the dick. My dick's not big enough. I need. Yeah. Nah, like a, a miniature that's chihuahua. That's why I said a chihuahua. Like a gerbil. Nah, like if you give me a gerbil, a I'm all about it. Gerbil's cool. Bingo. Wait, film this, watch it. No, no, you gotta rub his hand a little bit, guys. There you go. Pigeon nibbles a little bit too, makes you uncomfortable a little bit. in the universe. Put it together nice and loud. Because it's very funny. Jesse Nation. That was a boring introduction. I didn't even pay him or nothing for that one. He came up with that all on his own, I think. Or maybe my reputation precedes me. We shall find out, shall we? They're <laughs> like all looking at me like, I feel like I'm in like a National Geographic or something like that. And the Jesse's uh, tarantula head is uh, his natural habitat, the sage. That was a beautiful joke. Oh, Jesse Eichler, the funniest man in the universe. What's up, dog? Now you the one big round of applause for Jesse Eichler, the funniest man in the universe. <laughs> News came in. So instead, I'll just do this. Tom Broca here with a special news update. The war is over. But apparently, it was just a T.I. toge between Bush and Saddam. We have a live feed from Tahiti. <laughs> oh, no! Hey, look at that there, Sadami. <laughs> Looks like my G.I. Joe man's kicking your old Sama doll's ass. <laughs> She's like, what <laughs> Kelly, you're talking about. You do not know nothing about playing war games. I tell you right now, remember when we used to play Risk? I used to beat you so bad. Because Risk is all about numbers, and you cannot count. <laughs> Was that your father? Oh, you all look alike, I don't know. <laughs> war is cool, huh? <laughs> I work in a liquor store, and uh, believe it or not, a lot of strange things happen at the old liquor store. Like, just the other day, this guy came in, and he uh, he was looking at the bartender black book, and he said, bless you. He said, that's not what he said. I just felt like I had to be a little courteous. Um, he said, uh, you got more drinks in this book than I can shake a stick at. The hell does that mean? Is that like a metaphor? Are you going to shake a metaphorical stick at the drinks in the book? Or, I don't know. I didn't know what it meant, at least until this old country dude came in. He had a stick. <laughs> Holy shit, this is cool. You got over nine drinks in here, and I shake my stick at. Yeah, it was crazy. I had to kick him out. A lot of strange things at the old liquor store. Yeah, so, uh, you know, those doctors are just really like drug dealers with, with a license. You know? And the only difference is their drugs seem to have a lot more side effects. Uh, impotence. 
rectal bleeding, no thanks. <laughs> I may cough a little from the herbals, but at least I know what I'm gonna get, right? <laughs> but if you buy drugs from anyone else, you're supporting terrorism, so you're screwed there. Uh, but I gotta say, in my defense, I only buy from the terrorists because I'm not allowed to grow weed on my porch. <laughs> you blame me? I didn't do it. <laughs> All right, but nothing against cops or anything, but I was just an observation. Have you ever noticed that the police are really just a taxi service for people who don't want to ride? It's true, there's only two differences. The only two differences are they got a much higher fare and an extended waiting period. I've waited many times on that one. Oh, man. But, uh, and the cars even look exactly the same. I always think I'm about to get pulled over every, team, every time I see that Ford with the little reflector on the back and the light on the side. At least until I get close enough to realize it's a taxi. But by that time, my friend ate the joint. What are you thinking? You don't got to go home, but you got to get the heck up out of here. That was great. Yeah. Oh, my God. Is that your Nixon? Yeah. I am not a cook. That's horrible. I am not a cook. Look, see, this is the one time when the white people got kicked the hell out.